I'm Daryl Baer, lead engineer and COO of MBT Solutions. What we're doing more of all the time is tractor versus tractor testing. And there are a lot of reasons why. These trucks will consume about $500,000 in fuel through their lifetime, which is three to four times more than the cost of the vehicle. So a fleet really wants to know how much fuel the truck's going to use over its lifetime. 5% is equivalent to about $25,000. And there's no way that you can negotiate or spec a vehicle that's gonna get less than that out of the price. So again, you really wanna know what the fuel economy is gonna be before buying a bunch of them. At MVTS, we take a very high-tech approach to how we do fuel economy testing. We start by outfitting the tractors with our test equipment. That's a data acquisition system that you see on the dash of the truck. That's wired to the sensors you see on the hood, the flow meter uh, at the back of the cab. It's accurate to 0.2%, and this is what we use to measure all of the fuel that's going into the engine. It's much more accurate than the ECM, and it's also a lot more accurate than weighing the fuel in removable tanks that, that is done in some fuel economy testing and trucking, and it's also a lot more accurate than than putting the fuel in the tank and trying to measure it that way. See, with this, we're able to correlate each drop of fuel with the terrain, the aerodynamic drag, any kind of traffic or driving that's occurring. So it's, it's what allows us to really dissect the data and correlate everything back to how fuel is being consumed. We also have temperature sensors that look at the ground temp and the road temp. Now, that's used a lot for our track testing, but we use it for on-road testing as well. We use a 40 to 50 mile loop on the interstate, so we start from zero miles per hour, we accelerate onto the interstate. As we're going down the road, of course, we're collecting all this data, then we exit the interstate, turn around and come back. And we'll do that five or six times a day. But with all of that data, we're able to split it up between the acceleration segment, the flat roads, the uphills, the downhills, and any combination of those. So we can actually dissect how these trucks perform in each of those different scenarios and they're very different. One truck may pull better up a hill but it might use more fuel. A truck might coast better down the hill, another might put on a jake brake and slow it down. We can also look at the parameters while we're testing. There's a lot of difference in these trucks with cruise control parameters, gear ratios, tires, aero packages. There are a lot of things that can be changed to optimize a vehicle for the fleet or simply optimize it overall. And again, sometimes it's just about evaluating the trade-off. This level of data analysis allows us to really dissect the performance of the vehicles, not just the overall fuel economy, but each area individually. And that allows us to really pick apart what it's doing and not only quantify the value, but see how to make an improvement. And all of this really comes from our experience with motorsports and engineering that we've done for the OEM levels previous to this. So it's very high-tech engineering and it's something that really hasn't been done in the trucking industry before, which is part of why it's not only accurate and reliable, but it's very fast. We can do this kind of testing in two to three days, know exactly what the numbers are, and the fleet can make a decision. Fleets are extremely busy, so are OEMs. We try to make it as fast and as painless as possible. So we receive the trucks, we put our test equipment on them. Sometimes we'll be using the fleet's trailers, sometimes we'll use our own like we have here today. We put the ballast to whatever is preferred by the fleet and the same with the speed parameters. We make sure that everything is set up the way it needs to be. When everything is set, we go testing for the day. On the second day, we swap the drivers, the trailers, the tires, the flow meter. And that takes all of those variables out of the equation. So when we do that for three days in a row, the only variable left is the tractor itself. There's always a difference in tires and in drivers and in trailers, no matter how close they are. We're trying to really split hairs with the difference in fuel economy. So even a difference of half a percent or one percent is important. So we rotate those every day. And the other aspect of it is that each driver drives each tractor. And that's where the subjective information really comes in. We ask each driver what they think of each truck what they like, what they dislike, how they compare to the other tractors. So we get this sort of web of information and that allows us to provide really reliable subjective information to the fleet on the ride and handling of the vehicle, the noise level, the ergonomics, just the driver feel overall. There are a lot of things to consider that affect how the drivers feel and behave in a vehicle. And that's another thing that we provide with tractor comparison tests.